<laughs> oh my gosh. Animal abuse. My heart's actually gonna blow up after all of these one after the other. Hello friends and Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, it's LC and welcome to my channel if you are new and if you are returning, welcome back. I am here today with a very special K-pop Christmas reaction where I am reacting to not one, not two, not three, not four, five, six, but seven different K-pop Christmas videos. We are doing some girl groups. We are doing some boy groups. It is going to be a Christmas spectacular today. And I'm feeling very festive because it snowed quite a bit in the last 24 to 36 hours. This is what my backyard looks like at the moment. Feeling very cozy, very festive, very ready for Christmas time. So I'll be reacting to some content from some groups that I have reacted to plenty of times on this channel, such as Seven such as TXT, such as Monster X and Purple Kiss, who I'm just starting to get into. But then I'll also be covering some girl groups that are pretty brand new to me, including Twice, including Billy, including Red Velvet and Aspa. I am excited to get into this Christmas extravaganza. So let's get into it. But before we do, please don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel. One frozen wasteland later. Ho ho ho, so for my beverage of the day today, I have a delicious glass of tea. I feel like you can see the steam still coming up from it. It is the Candy Cane Crush Tea from David's Tea. And this isn't sponsored or anything. I'm just fully David's Tea's bitch. And it's really cool because it's like black tea that has white chocolate chips and candy canes and sprinkles. And it tastes very pepperminty and chocolatey and delicious. However, I am a wimp when it comes to really hot tea. <laughs> And this is still really hot. I don't put any milk or sugar in my tea, so I will sip this precariously to begin. Okay, it's actually not that hot. Well, I mean, it's hot, but not like scaldingly hot. But okay, I'm gonna have to take this off <laughs> to put my headphones in my ears because this is like very tight on my head. Whew. Oh Lord, got some greasy roots. Okay, I'll be right back to go fix that. <laughs> Okay, so what I decided that I would do is go in chronological order. So start with the oldest content first and make our way to the newest content, which was released as new as three days ago. So we're gonna start here first with Seventeen's special video of Boom Boom Santa version, which I think is a dance practice. I love a good Seventeen dance practice and I've never heard this song before. And this was the most requested reaction of the seven videos that I'm going to be reacting to today. So so my expectations are high. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be fun. So let's go with a Boom Boom Santa version. <laughs> Santa Sunquan. <laughs> oh, also Santa one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, are they all dressed as Santa? <laughs> okay, never mind. Dino's the reindeer. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen blonde Mingyu before. <laughs> so what? <laughs> Is that like a reindeer costume? <laughs> oh my gosh. So 12 Santa and one reindeer, they have it backwards. Also, dancing, dancing in those suits must be so warm. <laughs> uh oh, someone lost a nose. <laughs> oh 
I love them just singing along. <laughs> I can't even focus on the song. Oh my gosh. We're gonna grow a beard real fast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, animal abuse. Go, poor DK. Who was that? Was it Sinquan? <laughs> the chaos is just real. <laughs> and then Mingyu just flashing us. He's got Carrot's presence. <laughs> oh my gosh, the abuse. Now keeps losing one of his noses. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was the best amount of silly. <laughs> that is a really intense beard. <laughs> I would love to know the story of behind why DK is the reindeer. It was like a punishment of some sort. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that was a lot of fun. But I will never get over the way that DK was just fully yeeted like that. And the last 17 reaction I did, I just watched Dino get completely bullied and clearly the bullying continues. But then just Hoshi getting pushed too. Like, look at this. <laughs> The most violent Christmas I've ever seen. <laughs> I just passed in the best spot ever. Oh my gosh, I have to. <laughs> There's something special, aren't they? Special video is right. The extraness of it all is just like next level. But already moving on to our next video here, which is Monster X's Lonely Christmas. And I feel like we're going from something fun and silly to maybe like a sadder Christmas song. Cause I don't want Monster X to have a lonely Christmas. They're one of the more recent groups that I've been getting into and I've been enjoying it so, so much. And everything they do so far that I've seen has just like gone in like so freaking hard. So if they do kind of like a ballad softer side song here, I would actually love that. Although of course, I don't want them to be lonely. So we'll just have to see here. Let's go. Ooh. Some nice piano. Oh, the doggo. <laughs> Fastest way to my heart. A dog. Ooh, groovy. Mm -hmm. All their voices are so nice. 
Oh. <laughs> Gosh. I'm so sorry. I fully misread that caption and I thought that it was talking about wanting to be stepped on. Okay. <laughs> okay. It says, I wanted to step on it with you, not I want to be stepped on by you. I'm so sorry, Mudstags, and to all of you watching. <laughs> Why do you keep pushing me away? Mm. Oh, purple hair. Mm. <gasps> You're left alone. How could anybody leave them alone? Oh, I love this. Of course, I don't love that they've been left alone. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> even if I tear up, I'm consumed by emotions. It's a happy day for someone. So what? I don't care. <laughs> Oh, this is breaking my heart. I feel like emotional whiplash, like <laughs> after the last video, but this is just like so heartbreaking. <laughs> because look, at, how could you leave that alone at Christmas time? Like, in all seriousness though, <laughs> I actually do really like this song. It's very like subtle and I like the chill, like R&B vibes of it. I feel like this would be a really nice song to put on if it's like snowing on a wintry evening when you're sitting by the fire and they really do have like fantastic voices every last one of them also this fit on minhyuk is like a plus very like rich soul businessman with a heart of gold vibes but okay let's keep going <laughs> Changing it up a little. Mm. His voice is like butter. Mm. Oh my gosh, I just want to hug them and comfort them and be like, so many people out there wouldn't leave you alone. She's not good enough for you. Ooh, sax solo. I love a good sax solo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very sweet and I really just want to like shake this girl <laughs> this girl who has broken their heart it's just like why did you do this how could you but because it is such a like groovy and nice song I feel like when I listen to it I'm gonna pretend they're not talking about <laughs> how sad they are because I don't want them to be sad I want to take their sadness away so I enjoyed that song quite a bit and I hope now in 2022 that Monster X is feeling a little less lonely than in 2017 how five years have helped them because they deserve it they deserve all the love 
in the world. Okay, next we are moving on to the best thing I ever did by Twice. So I have not covered any Twice on this channel, but I feel like before I started this channel that Twice was maybe the second or third most familiar group for me. Maybe other than, you know, BTS I was very familiar with, but other than Blackpink and Stray Kids, like twice was kind of in that second tier of like knew a little bit but not a lot and I'm still kind of in that same place where I maybe know half the members I've heard a handful of their title tracks and I'm absolutely obsessed with fancy and I can't stop me but again that's kind of like the limit of what I know about twice so I've been curious to get more into them but I just haven't I just never got around to it so I'm excited to get into this and to be reacting to twice for the first time on my channel so here we go mm. oh I love her jacket I'm obsessed with tweed <laughs> Ooh, oh oh my gosh they look so pretty so elegant Hmm. So gentle and soft. Oh. oh my gosh, they're all so gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, best thing I ever did was I met you. Is this like their love letter? Aww. This is so sweet. Is this like their love letter to each other? Or to the fans? This is so sweet. Oh my gosh. So it's almost like more a reflection on the year than like a Christmas song per se. But I like that. I like that different approach. Saying December, as we end the year together, I remember our memories pile up like the snow. So many words I saved for you linger in my mind. Makes me nervous. Used to feel lonely and empty, but December is no longer lonely. The best thing I ever did was that I met you. Like, oh, that's just so touching. I don't even <laughs> it's funny because just looking at this group I don't know much about them but I can see just from this like small clip how much they care about each other like that is just clear as day to me especially seeing these clips back of like them just enjoying each other's company and being silly together <laughs> like <laughs> she's just holding up like Wemis spray. I don't even know what you call that. I just remember when I used to work at a grocery store all the time we would just hear Wemis, Wemis, Wemis because the spray you'd use to clean up the belt was always like had like a butt ton of chemicals in it to kill all the crap <laughs> from all the produce and all the other food and meat and everything that can build up on the belt. But anyways, this is neither here nor there. And I noticed that they're holding these tickets. So this girl has one and so does she. And then Jiho, I know her name. <laughs> She has one too. They all have one. So it could be taken literally as like <laughs> their ticket to the theater to get in to watch this movie, but it feels like it has more significance than that. So maybe we shall find out if I resume. So let's keep going. <laughs> Smiling from ear to ear the whole day. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
think I might be in love. <laughs> it makes me happy to see them happy, you know? <laughs> Even though I barely know them. <gasps> oh my gosh. I want to hang out with a reindeer. <laughs> this is warming my heart. I feel like the Grinch. My heart is just growing in size. <laughs> so sweet and like heartfelt oh you know sometimes especially lately after seeing how much crap <laughs> that a lot of groups and their members are going through and there's probably so much crap that we never see happen behind the scenes that you know a song like this exists and they're able to have this moment together of being joyful and being able to kind of like celebrate the year because I imagine there's tons of times where these idols will ask themselves like is this all worth it? And you know, some idols decide that it's not. So it's really nice to see this video of them just like enjoying each other's company and being happy and merry together because we will just never ever see all of the hard work and blood and sweat and tears that goes into these like perfect performances and stages and concerts and music videos. And I know that this is a time when a lot of idols will take breaks. So I'm really hoping that like right now, <laughs> all of my favorite idols are resting because they've just seriously earned it and you know while acknowledging and appreciating the hard times that they went through I hope that they can look back on 2022 with feelings of positivity and joy but already let's get into our next song here which is from a group I had never even heard of before <laughs> before a couple of people recommended this music video which is snowy night and it's billy spelt with three l's clearly my head is under a rock but i'm always excited to hear new groups and listen to new groups so let's get into snowy night mystic story is that the label chapter one on christmas day <gasps> Charlie Brown Christmas. One of my favorite Christmas albums of all time. If not my favorite album of all time, period. Yeah, seriously, if you have not heard the, Chris the Charlie Brown Christmas album. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, that kind of creeped me out, not gonna lie. <laughs> Ooh, I love the blue hair. So, how many members are they? Seven? Six? A voyage. Ooh. Oh, this is jazzy. Okay, seven. <laughs> This is so fun! Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Wow! It's like a whole storyline here! I like this. Hmm, okay. Like, holy cow. <laughs> There's a lot happening here. Because, you know, in part one, they're kind of just hanging out in the cabin, minding their own business at Christmas time. And it's almost kind of like stop motion y. But then the one girl pulls out like this snow globe with the moon on it. <laughs> 
or like decapitated doll head and then they leave on their like magical voyage and then they slowly make their way to the moon and they're saying where are you Christmas so is that like the vision that they're on is to like find Christmas or find the meaning of Christmas and they say on a white snowy night I want to reach the moon and meet the eyes as if my heart is in that small snow globe it looks like that moon I want to go there through the shining lights may my day shine brighter and then I'll shake it snowy night my little milky way I'll make it snowy night even if it's cold I feel warm like slow motion a moment like a movie my only tiny snowy night but then there's a sign that says there is no spoon And then there's like this top that looks like the top from Inception. So is it kind of like symbolism for the dream world here? Ooh, do they have like a whole lore? That would be so fun. I love groups with lore, like TXT lore, amazing. AT's lore, amazing. All the lore, I'm here for all the lore. (laughs) And then at the end there, it kind of looked like two girls got taken away because we're starting the chapter four here with a disappearance. This is like a whole last story. (laughs) All of these videos that I've reacted to so far have been so different. So let's keep going. Mm. They prisoners? Mm. The song is so beautiful. Such a vibe. Oh! (laughs) Oh my gosh. Is that like the abominable snowman? (laughs) Discovery and awakening. So they're looking for the members? (laughs) Why the bunny ears? (laughs) Oh my gosh. What did he just fill? Or did he give her like strength potion? This video is so fun. <laughs> the rescue. Oh. That felt very Harry Potter-ish. Of like catching the key. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. Oh. Run! (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) This is so whimsical. Has like a... Uh, what's it called? That dra- Wes Anderson. That's what it kind of feels like. <gasps> Was it all a dream? <gasps> or was it? Dun dun dun! <laughs> that was so fun now i kind of want to get into this group more because like if they have other videos like this like i would love that especially if the other videos that they have are like this whimsical you know and the song was like very much a vibe where i feel like lonely christmas was more like nighttime chilling by the fire i feel like this is like a daytime like upbeat song of like if you're building gingerbread houses or doing like a fun activity that this would go nicely with that because of like the whimsy of it you know or like building a snowman or something I don't (laughs) I have no idea what I'm talking about I hope you know what I mean definitely going in the Christmas playlist but okay I'm gonna take a quick break grab a snack refresh the drink refresh the leap steak so that I can come back re-energized to react to these last three songs here Hello friends, I am back and I feel like I look blindingly pale. Maybe that's just 
my face. <laughs> but okay, let us keep going with the next video on our list, which is Purple Kisses My My. So again, I'm pretty new to Purple Kiss, have only heard a handful of songs from them, but everything I've heard so far, I've really enjoyed. Everything went right into the playlist. So I'm excited to see their take on a Christmas song here. Also, I have refreshed my tea. I am now drinking a Merry Mistletoe tea. This one is caffeine free. The last one was black tea. So, <laughs> and I'd already had tea this morning that was caffeinated. So if I had another tea that was caffeinated, I would just be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. So I opted for a caffeine free one, which I think this one is kind of like cranberry-ish, like nutty-ish. Yes, a little bit of spice to it as well. It's quite good. I'll put the link to both teas I've had today in the description. So let's go with my my. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, this is so wholesome. <laughs> Her voice is gorgeous. Ooh, I like the beat. <laughs> Aren't you fed up with gift giving? I love gift giving. It's all just so beautiful. <laughs> this is too wholesome for this world. <laughs> I love the green beret. I should get a beret. I love them. <laughs> this is so precious. Like I know the other ones have been pretty wholesome so far, but this one just like, oh, like got me right in the feels because they're saying I'm going to open my, my wish list. Don't be surprised. My Christmas wish list is you. And you're my only wish list. So in your family, how do you do Christmas? I feel like there's two families. There's one family that just like wants to know exactly what you want for Christmas and there can be like zero room for interpretation. They must have exactly every last thing that you want. Or there's the families that are like, I want to come up with my own gift for you. I want to get you something that you wouldn't get yourself. I feel like my preference is for the latter because I like giving gifts. It's one of my favorite things. But then my family <laughs> is very much the former. They are very practical. So my mom would just hound me for gift ideas. So I'm curious to know what your family is like in that sense. But I'm a obsessed with this like Christmas tent thing. I want one of these. I know a lot of times they make these types of like reading tents for kids, but but I want one. There's basically two things that take up my free time. It's making these videos and reading. So I would like, oh, I'm obsessed with this. I want something like this so badly. I guess that's on my Christmas wish list. <laughs> Although like where in my house would there be space for this? And I love the Christmas baking. What is your favorite thing to make at Christmas time? I like to make cookies and brownies. I hate cooking, <laughs> but I love baking. Don't ask me what the difference is because I don't know. I can't explain it. I like to make Christmas tree shaped brownies with green icing and putting sprinkles on top and then putting a candy cane underneath as the tree trunk and also gingerbread cookies of course but let's keep going you keep rap i love her outfit <laughs> mundane every life everyday life oh those days of work right before the holidays Brutal. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. This is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Bum, bum. 
<laughs> I wonder what life would be like to be as beautiful as them. <laughs> The wholesomeness of this. I'm gonna blow up. <laughs> it's also just like super catchy too. <laughs> oh, so precious, so wonderful. This also doesn't sound like a rookie group song. It sounds like it's coming from like a seasoned. Get it? Seasoned. <laughs> Oh my gosh, could that even count as a joke? A seasoned group, if you know what I mean. Because this was just last year, but it sounds like it could have come from any of those other girl groups that I've done so far. And it just warmed my heart so, so much. I just want to do a gift exchange with them and bake cookies with them. Although based on this... <laughs> Based on this video, they don't want any gifts from me because they only have one item on their wish list, and that's you. But alrighty, next we are going to be going to some TXT, so we're back to a boy group. And this is our first live clip of the reaction where I'm going to be reacting to Sweet Dreams. And I have a feeling that this is going to be heart-meltingly sweet, <laughs> especially with sweet in the title of the song. And also just based on how small those little chairs are. <laughs> They're so close to the ground. But alrighty, let's jump in. Ooh. I love all the piano and all these different Christmas songs. Yeah. Ugh. His voice is just so smooth. Uh, so is <laughs> oh, that line is so smooth. Is it the chill or romance that makes your cheeks blush? I hope that it's me, like... <sighs> smooth operator Yeonjun over here. And of course Yeonjun of all of them <laughs> would have the super flirty line. But apologies, let's continue. <laughs> Christmas. Oh. My heart's actually gonna blow up after all of these, one after the other. <laughs> Related, but I really like that arrangement sitting on the table. The like foliage. I'm so sorry. Here I am, these like beautiful boys singing this beautiful song. And I'm like, ooh, the table arrangement. You know you're a 30 year old white lady when. Oh, 
two of us blooming white. This is very like comforting boyfriend vibes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the wholesomeness is almost too much. Like Oh, special thanks to Moa. This is just so, so sweet. And again, with the wholesomeness, I'm just at the edge of no longer being able to function. So <laughs> I'm kind of glad we're at our last one here. But before we move on to the last song, I love just the mix of like sweetness and flirtiness in this song. And of, you know, Yeonjun hoping that your flushed cheeks are because of him. And then Bumyu being excited because your hands like almost touch. Like too wholesome for the earth. And how they're just wishing for a comfortable night at the end of your day and like a present sweet dreams <laughs> who designed these men i feel like they were designed at a factory a like perfect boyfriend vibes factory and telling you how you're always shining like a star like and in this cold <laughs> in this cold season you are the only okay i can't we are moving on <laughs> <laughs> to our final song here which is by Red Velvet and Aspa called Beautiful Christmas. So I have only ever heard one song by Red Velvet and one song by Aspa. The Aspa song was Black Mamba. I think that was their debut if I'm not mistaken. And then Red Velvet, the only song I know is Psycho because of the meme. You know the one that's like... <laughs> So in this video, I'm not gonna know who's Red Velvet and who is Aspa, which I feel like is kind of fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming that it's gonna be based on like the girls who look older are Red Velvet and the girls who look younger are Aspa. Let's see, what's their the difference between their debut dates? Oh dang, okay, they they debuted a whole six years apart. So yeah, even though I've heard those songs before, I've never seen a Red Velvet video, never seen an Aspa video. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to go into this like totally blind and we'll see if I can kind of piece together who red velvet and who's aspa unless they like very clearly lay it out so let's do it oh my gosh <laughs> Gosh, they're all just so gorgeous like so many beautiful women in this video today <laughs> <laughs> oh so they're like all blended together yeah I have no idea <laughs> Who's the older group? Because they all look so young. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just want to dance. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Let me go back and I'm gonna guess and you're gonna tell me how incredibly wrong I am. <laughs> Okay, let's get a shot of all of them together. I mean, it's a little blurry because they're moving. Can I maybe find a picture? So in the thumbnail of the video, it's a little clearer. Hmm. <laughs> and I don't even know, <laughs> I don't even know how many girls are in each group. Okay, I'm gonna guess that the left is Red Velvet and the right is Aspa. Or no, hmm, no. Okay, no, no. The back, the back row is Red Velvet, the front line is aspa okay let me see okay i think i'm right <laughs> but then in this they're all blended 
<laughs> they're all blended together. And I don't know exactly how much older the Red Velvet members are compared to the Aspa members, but I'm guessing that like it could be as much as a decade because some of the groups who debuted around 2014, like around that time, are my age or just slightly younger. Well, I guess there's an easy way for me to find this out. Okay, dang. So their leader, Irene, is... 1991, so she's a year older than me. Okay, so then the leader of ASPA was born in 2000. So yeah, that's almost a decade. But then who's the youngest member? 2002, holy cow. So that's 11 years of difference between the nine of them. I don't know why I find that so... <laughs> <laughs> so interesting to me. I just think it's cool and I really love when groups collab with one another like within their label and I wish that there was more of it especially of like a third gen group with a fourth gen group. I mean again I'm still a baby when it comes to k-pop but I feel like this doesn't happen that often like a third gen and a fourth gen group like collabing in this way. I mean please correct me if I'm wrong and I'm just an idiot and I have no idea what I'm talking about. But honestly, this could read as like one group like of nine members because that's almost what it feels like. It wasn't until I saw that picture of them all together that I could piece together that the front row was Aspa and the back row was Red Velvet. And normally like the cutesy groups aren't really my thing. Like I have to admit that. But I feel like at Christmas time, like give me all the cutesy. <laughs> I'm in the mood for it at Christmas time and I'm very much in the mood for like this song because it's just so wholesome and adorable and I feel like I would have to know both groups better to be able to like fully appreciate this moment and the fact that they're like doing this together but I still find it fun and wholesome and their visuals are amazing and their choreography is super cute so let's keep going <laughs> So this is Aspa, right? <laughs> Ooh, I like her voice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cute outfits. Reminds me of the Mean Girls outfits. <laughs> I don't know if that's what they were going for. <laughs> I just want to dance. <laughs> Ooh. Is she the red velvet leader? She gives leader vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That gave me chills for vocals. <laughs> it was just like so fun. <laughs> yeah, her voice is insane. <laughs> Bye! Yeah, I cannot get over the wholesomeness of just all of this content. Even Monster X being Christmas sad boys like that was still wholesome and i loved every single second of it all of these songs are going right into my playlist and they will be playing <laughs> on repeat until christmas time and again like <laughs> even though the super cutesy stuff especially with girl groups is like not for me i feel like at christmas time is when it's like that's exactly what i want <laughs> give me all the wholesomeness so if you are looking for some more christmas themed k-pop reactions and you're thinking hey 
LC has reacted to a bunch of these other groups before and they have other Christmas songs that she hasn't covered or in the case of Stray Kids, a whole Christmas album. Don't worry, I've got you covered. I have put the links to all of the reactions to those songs, specifically ATs, TXT, and Stray Kids in the description. Plus, later this week, I will have an entire ATs Christmas themed video plus an entire Christmas themed Mamamoo slash Moombiol video. So make sure that you're subscribed and you click the notification bell so that you know once those reactions have been uploaded. And you can also sign up for my Patreon at the $5 level if you would like to get early access to those videos. So friends, thank you so much for joining me for this Christmas themed extravaganza. I hope that you had fun. I hope that you're feeling in the Christmas spirit. So do you have a favorite among these? I know for a fact I'm not going to be able to choose <laughs> because even though they're all Christmas themed and a lot of them were very like upbeat and wholesome and fun, I feel like it's hard to compare them, especially when I just listen to it. I feel like over time, maybe I'll be able to see if I do have like a favorite. So yeah, I guess I'll just have to wait and see <laughs> how much I bump each one until Christmas time. But definitely let me know in the comments if you have a favorite. I also want to thank my patrons for making this video happen today. My patrons have access to weekly exclusive reactions as well as access to my YouTube schedule for the month and behind the scenes content. And then my $5 patrons get early access to my YouTube videos the ability to vote on the content of a YouTube video of mine once a month and a shout out at the end of every single one of my YouTube videos. So an extra special thank you to Azai Life, Catherine H, Dancing on Fire, MJN, Aaron M, Hope to Dust, Jazzberry, Jennifer O, JLA, Kirsten, Chris M, Leah B, Mila B, Nicey64, Sophia S, Teald, Tiffers, and Vicos. If you would like to support my channel, you can visit me at patreon.com slash Lauren Claire. But friends, until my next couple of Christmas videos that I have coming this week, I hope that you are doing well, staying safe this holiday season, taking care of yourself, having some relaxation time, and I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas.